Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. We are going to be doing morning power yoga flow to give you a nice strong start to your day. So you won't need any props for this practice. This flow is going to focus more on building strength than it is on stretching through the body. And I have built this with the intention that you are starting off your day, have just woken up from sleep. So we're gonna gently prime the body and get it ready for some nice strength building exercises, especially focusing in on the core. So we're just gonna start lying down on your backs, nice and easy. And you can, Leave your legs stretched out or come into a reclined butterfly position like I am here. So the soles of the feet coming together, knees just opening out to the sides, maybe bringing your palms to your belly. Just allowing those hips to open up. Feel that relaxation. Try to really deepen your breath. Feel the rise and fall of your belly underneath your hands as we continue to breathe. We'll take three more breaths here. And maybe using your hands to help you, bringing your knees back up to center. You're going to stretch out your left leg and bring your right knee into your chest. And let's flex through that left foot as well, putting pressure into the heel. So we're engaging through that leg, maybe lengthening out through the hip flexor. Hug that right knee into your chest as far as it'll go. And then from this position on an exhale, we're gonna take it into a twist. So cross it over the body. Your eyes and right hand will open up towards the right. Knee twists towards the left, keeping both shoulder blades on the floor. Continuing that deep belly breath. Feel this twist and spiral really coming from your navel. And we'll come back to center right away, going to the other side with this twist. So right leg extends, left leg is bent. Flex through the right foot add pressure into that heel so we're engaging through that bottom leg really hugging that left knee in and then on an exhale take it across the body here arm and eyes go to the left leg goes to the right breathing deep really enjoy that waking up of your spine and we'll float that leg back to center. We're gonna bring both heels onto the mat now. So the soles of your feet are flat against the mat and you want your hips or your knees to be just in line with your hips here. Same with your feet. So they're not too wide, not too narrow. Everything in one straight line. And we're gonna press into the feet and the heels. Just lift the hips up and we're gonna try and make a straight line here from your knees all the way to your shoulders. Relaxing through those shoulder blades, your arms are relaxed and released. And then we're gonna float the hips back down onto the mat. Again, engage the glutes, push into the feet, take it up, bridge pose. Feel that core knitting into the center like you're wearing a corset. And we'll release back down onto the mat three more times like this. Pushing in all the way up. Hold here for a breath before we release. Again, engage the glutes, push up. Feel long through the body here. Nice long straight line, release. Last one, we push all the way up. We're holding at the top here. And now I want you to pulse your knees in towards the center. So pulsing in as if you were squeezing a nice big beach ball. You can move at your own pace here. And right away, you should feel your inner thighs start to engage. Your glutes are working harder to hold you there. Let's do five more. Three, two, one, release it down. And from this position, we're gonna rock ourselves up to take a seat, bringing your hips to the center of your mat. 
And just with your feet flat on the floor, feel your spine nice and long here. So sitting up nice and tall. And we're gonna come into kind of some, almost like a cat and cow, but in a seated position. So you can have your hands on your knees here. And on an exhale, we're pulling the belly button in, finding a contraction. Inhale, sitting right on top of those sit bones. High lift, lifting the heart towards the sky. Exhale, contract, pull it in. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, curve. Try and keep your shoulders on top of your hips as we curve here. Inhale, up. Last one, exhale. And inhale. And come back to your neutral spine. Feel nice and long and tall from the sit bones to the crown of your head. And we're gonna take it back into a boat pose, but keep those knees hugging into your chest. So we're balancing on top of the sit bones. And then from here, you're gonna extend to a low boat. So shoulders and feet are still lifted up off the mat and take it back in. Back to that ball balancing on your sit bones. Take it back again, two and in. Let's inhale to extend, exhale, bring everything into the center. Twice more, inhale, and exhale, really working that core, fight to keep that balance. One more time, inhale, and exhale, taking it in, find that final position before we replant the feet. Take your hands behind you, fingertips pointing towards your heels, and we're taking a reverse tabletop here. So lifting your hips up, just like we did in that bridge pose, but now we have our hands underneath to support us, and really try to feel that you're getting flat like a table, so those hips are really pushing up. And from this position, we're gonna take the hips, swing them back, weight comes into your heels, they go past your hands, your hips go past your hands, and then we push ourselves back to that position again. Swing it back, inhale, exhale, pushing into the feet. Three more times, inhale, exhale, again, inhale. Keep that core nice and strong as we do this. Last one. Exhale, pushing all the way up and come back once more to that hips through position, lowering all the way down. Flex through the feet, sitting up nice and tall. Let's inhale to extend the arms up. Exhale, release forward, but try to maintain a long back so we're not curving through the spine here. Staying long, especially through that lower back, it's very tricky to feel intuitively. And if you can, grabbing on top of your toes here. So head is still lifted, core is pulling in. We're stretching through the hamstrings and you might even feel this through the lower part of your leg into your calf and Achilles. And then with one nice big, it, one nice big exhale, release forward and you can relax your legs now. Enjoying that stretch a little bit more and breathing. One more deep breath. And on your next inhale, we'll roll back up to a seated position. From here, you're gonna bend your right leg in and I'm just gonna shift myself a little bit further down the mat. So your right leg is bent in to your inner thigh. Your right hand is going to go behind you on the mat and we're gonna push the hips up, finding a baby wild thing. So really engage your glutes to get those hips up nice and high and you're reaching really long through that top arm. So we find a nice side body stretch and now from here, you're gonna to wanna to power into your right arm and your left leg to transition into a plank facing the back of your mat. And from this plank, really knitting that core together, we're lowering onto the right elbow, left elbow, right hand, left hand. Again, right elbow, left elbow, right hand, left hand. Again, down, make sure that we're not swinging through the hips too much. Keep your hips stable. It's only the upper body that's doing all the work here. Everything else is just staying stationary. Last one. And up, up, take it to downward facing dog right away. And take a couple of breaths here. Allow that core to release a little bit. Feel long from the crown of your head to your tailbone. 
You can maybe bend and stretch the knees if you need. And we're gonna lift the right leg up, keep it straight and square behind you. And then on the exhale, bring it forward, but place it in the middle of your mat. So about six inches behind your right hand. And then you're gonna twist to the outside of your legs and come on up to almost like a side plank variation here. So your right arm is reaching up and over beside your ears and we're on the outside edges of both feet. And now on an inhale, you're gonna allow the hips to dip towards the mat, reaching this right arm out. Exhale, push all the way up. Again, inhale. Exhale, push. Three more times, inhale. Exhale, push. You really wanna feel those obliques working here. Exhale to push. Last one, inhale. Exhale, push. Now from here, bring your right hand to the mat, turn both of your feet. So we're facing the, the top of your mat once more, and we're almost in like two 90 degree angles with the feet here. From this position, we're gonna grow up to a warrior three, arms out to the sides. So feel that you're grounding into the floor and then growing up away from all of that. This back hip, left hip is spiraling towards the floor, long across the back. Core is engaged. Take one more deep breath. And from here, we're gonna come all the way up to stand, bringing that right knee in with you, hands in front of your chest. Pull that knee in on its own, using your core strength. And we're coming into a twist from here. You can either grab a hold of your knee or your big toe with your right two-piece fingers to come into a full extension with a twist testing your balance, finding another spiral. Make sure we're really pulling up through that supporting leg. And tricky transition here, paying attention. You're gonna bend deep plie into that supporting leg, dropping the foot and coming all the way to sit on your mat. And we are going to repeat from our boat poses, now facing the back of the mat. So let's actually start feet flat on the floor. Sitting up nice and tall here. So again, finding that neutral spine, just like when we started. Breathing deep. You might feel a little bit more heat on this side as opposed to the first. And then once we feel settled and ready, stretching through the feet, coming back to balance onto those sit bones. And inhale, reaching out long, low boat. Exhale, come back into that tight ball. Again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, two more. Inhale, exhale, last one. And exhale, plant the feet back down, coming to your reverse tabletop fingertips. Point towards your heels, we press into the feet, pushing up. And from here, let's take an inhale, rock the hips back. Exhale, push it up, again. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale up, last one, and push it up one more time, swing your hips back, but this time to take a seat, extending your legs out. Same thing as before, flexing through the feet, sit up nice and tall on an inhale, and then on an exhale, pitching forward, trying to maintain that long spine here. So we're really releasing through the lower back, feel long, grabbing your toes if you can. Deep breaths and we'll exhale. Release, curving your spine. Maybe shake your head out. This is our little mini break before we power it up again. Let's roll back up to a seated position, this time taking your left leg in towards your right inner thigh, and left hand will reach behind you onto the mat, engaging those glutes to push your way up, right arm reaches up and over, finding that nice side body stretch here. You might feel a bit of a stretch into your front left quad as well. 
And from here, powering into your left hand and right leg, transitioning to your front plank, this time facing the front of your mat. And we're gonna do those lowers, starting with the left, left hand this time. So left elbow down, right elbow, left and right again. Engage those glutes a little bit so we're not rocking through the lower body. This is number three. And we have two more, lower left, lower right, up on the left, up on the right, last one. You got this left and right, left and right. Coming to your down dog. Again, use this down dog restoratively. Bend and stretch your knees. Maybe bend and stretch the arms. Find some twists, do what's good for you here. Breathing deep. And from this position, we'll lift the left leg up to the sky, keeping it straight and square so that hip is rotating down. And we step it six inches behind your left foot, rotate to the outside edge of both feet, finding this modified side plank position. And we inhale, dropping the hips down, right, left arm extends, push it back up. Again, inhale, exhale, push. Three more, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Really pushing into that right hand underneath you. Last one, push it up, and we bring the left hand down. Spin both of your feet facing the top of your mat. From this crouched position, we're going to ground the left foot, grow up away from that, finding warrior three. Pull your belly in, keep that right hip rotating towards the floor. Breathing deep here, three more breaths. And from this position, we come all the way up to stand, pulling that right knee in with you, really testing that balance. Feel your core engage, hamstrings engage. And coming into your twist, again, either grabbing your knee with your left hand or your big toe with your two piece fingers, finding that full extension. We're fully stretched up through that supporting leg. If you need bending through that working leg. One more breath before we plie into the left leg with control, taking ourselves all the way down to the floor. You're gonna stretch both legs out in front of you. Stretch fully through your feet here, bringing your hands just like that reverse tabletop behind you, coming into reverse plank. So push those hips up, really engage the glutes here. You can leave your chin close to your chest like this or release your head all the way back. Whatever feels good for you here. Three more breaths. You got this, knitting that core in together. And we will release, tucking your feet in. You're gonna push your weight forward, finding just a little toe squat for a moment here. This is one of my favorite things to do in the morning, just really opening up all of the fascia and all of the tiny little muscles that exist under your feet. Take two more breaths here. And we'll come all the way up onto your knees, release those toes behind you, coming into camel pose. So you decide how deep you wanna take this, starting from the knees, coming all the way up, nice and tall through the spine. And then on an exhale, release, your upper body back, keep your hips forward over top of your knees. Maybe this is enough, or if you'd like to progress further, reaching your hands behind you to find your heels. And then again, really engage the glutes to take your body up. Finding a nice deep back bend, deep breathing, one more breath. And if your hands were down by your heels, you're gonna bring them up to your hips first, finding that high lift. And then we'll take it up, send the hips back, finding child's pose. I'm just gonna recenter myself here. You can let your knees come as wide as you would like in this child's pose and walking your hands out in front. Just allow 
your forehead to melt into the mat. Feel your belly expanding and contracting against your thighs here. Feel that your heart rate is returning to normal. Your breath is returning to normal and fully experiencing any heat that you might be feeling coming off the body in this moment. I'll take three more breaths here in this child's pose. And using your hands to help you walk yourself back up. We're gonna to come to a comfortable seated position, so whether that's cross-legged or sitting on your heels, just find that for yourself now. Because this is a morning class, we are going to finish off just with a very short seated meditation rather than coming into Shavasana so we don't run the risk of perhaps falling back asleep. But if Shavasana is something you would like to incorporate in your own practice today, feel free to take that pose now. I'm just gonna bring my palms to face up on my knees, connecting my Pointer finger and thumb. Feel really tall through your spine. And we're just gonna take a few breaths here to set an intention for the day. So maybe that's one word or one sentence that will really suit you and what you have going on today. What is it that you would like to focus on and manifest? And with this intention for your day set in your mind, we'll bring our hands together in front of our heart, bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for doing this practice with me. I hope you feel very primed and ready to tackle whatever it is that you have in the day ahead. Please, before you go though, do not forget to like and subscribe. It really does help me and support me with everything that I do here on this YouTube channel. And Leave me a comment below if you liked it. Maybe I can do some more morning practices for you guys. And that's it for me. And hopefully I will see you on the mat again very soon. Have a great day.